how to spend five days in Kusamui. Our five-day itinerary for Kusamui will help you fully explore these popular destinations in the warm waters of the Thai Gulf. It covers all the highlights that make Kusamui so beloved, from its beautiful beaches and palm trees to the crystal clear sea and to the cliff-top beer bars. Our recommended five-day itinerary in Kusamui begins on the southeast coast and ends on the northwest coast. You can choose to do it in reverse order if you prefer, while having a rental car or scooters is not necessary. It would make transportation between destinations much more convenient. Have a great trip! Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for future videos. Day 1. Lamai Beach If you're looking for a hidden gem on the islands of Kusamui, then Lamai Beach should be at the top of your list. This stretch of coastline offers a quieter alternative to the popular Chowing Beach. Spend a day exploring the area and you'll find a diverse range of sights, sounds, and taste. Relax on the soft sand, take a dip in the crystal clear water, or try your hand at some water sports. When you're ready for a break, seek out one of the beachside restaurants and indulge in some fresh seafoods, fragrant curries, or mouth-watering Thai barbecue. Whatever you do, don't forget to take some time to soak up the stunning view of the ocean and surrounding islands. If you want to change from sunbathing, take a walk to the south end of the beach. There you'll see interesting rock formations that resemble people called Hinta Hinyai, known as the grandfather's or grandmother's rocks. You can try to figure out why they have that name. Additionally, you can visit Thanon Head Lamai, which is the main street in town with plenty of bars and souvenir shops. In the evening, the Hingu viewpoint is the best place to go. To get there, you need to walk for 35 minutes from the beachfront, but once you arrive, you'll be able to see a 180 degrees view of the bay and the sandbags of Wa Tanun. A bar and rest point called Lamai Viewpoint is located just the viewpoint where you can enjoy a cold Chang beer while admiring the Gulf view. Day 2 Chaweng Beach Located on Kusamui is the busiest resort on the island. Although some consider it to be too big, we believe it provides perfect opportunity to experience the island's energy. It should take about 20 minutes and cost approximately 350 to 450 Thai baht or 10 to 13 30 dollars in a taxi to reach it from Lamai. If you don't want to be disturbed by noise, we suggest looking for a hotel away from the main road in the heart of the resort. The library is a luxurious option, while Samui Beach Resort Hotel is more budget-friendly. In this area, the beach is the main attraction once again. Chowing Beach is even longer than Lamai, stretching 2.5 miles from one end to the other. The northern section has more development with options to rent sunbeds and visit beach bars. On the other hand, the southern part of the beach is less crowded, has wider sands and usually only has a few volleyball courts. Chowing has lively nightlife scene that you can experience to finish your day. Start by checking out the Chowing Walking Market where you can shop and enjoy street food. Then head to popular venues like Cha Cha Moon, Hush Bar, or Green Mango Club to party all night long. Day 3. Bofoot Beach Bofoot is nicknamed the Fisherman Village due to its history as a small fishing community with traditional cottages and boats. However, it is now developing into the main tourist destinations on Samui's north coast offering a wide variety of hotels, restaurants, and bars to visitors. The location is great for exploring the Golden Triangle on the northeastern coast, which includes beautiful beaches and hotels on headlands. The area has many attractions, but you'll need a scooter with the proper documents, a hired driver, or an organized tour to get there. If you head east from Bufut Village, you can see the sites in a particular order. Hat Bangrak this is a port area that is bustling with activity and serves as a departure point for numerous boats to the other islands such as Koh Tao. You will find a beautiful golden beach and plenty of breakfast bars and cafes. We recommend stopping here for breakfast with Cafe KOB by the Sea being a personal favorite. Big Buddha 
The Big Buddha on Koh Samui is a remarkable Buddhist site featuring a huge statue that overlooks the Phraya Thai Temple. Visitors can enter for free and explore the fascinating religious shrines. Wat Plai Lam This temple exhibits the Chinese Buddhist traditions in a way that surpasses any other location on the island. Thongsun Bay Beach This beach on Koh Samui is one of our favorites. It has white sand and clear waters and is covered in coral dust. On day 3 of our Koh Samui's 5-day itinerary, Return to Vofut in the evening, explore the Fisherman's Village Night Market, which offers delicious seafood, broths, and noodles for only a dollar per dish. Additionally, the main street parallel to the beachfront has a bustling nightlife scene. Day 4 Mainam is a peaceful area of the island that is not as crowded as other spots. It will provide a chance to slow down and enjoy some relaxing time by the Gulf during our 5-day itinerary on Kusamui. However, before we do that, there is an exciting adventure awaiting us. The road from Bufu to Mainam has many options to explore the inland hills, including waterfalls, pockets of jungles, and lookout points with amazing view over the beaches. We suggest checking out these spots. Kunsi Waterfall you can visit the Kunsi Waterfall in Kusamui, which is a well-liked attraction. The waterfall cascades from a rocky cliff into a plunge pool located in the forest where you can take a swim. Tanrua Waterfall Next door to a zipline park, you can find a multi-tiered waterfall that can be accessed through a rope bridge that defies gravity. Feel free to visit if you're feeling brave. Panoramic View Samui there is a scenic lookout point in the jungles where you can see the green mountains of Samui. At this location, there is a bar known as Jum's Hut that serves cold beer. After finishing your tour of Kusamui's rural area, head back down the roads to the north coast where you will find Mainam. This is a lanty beach that becomes increasingly peaceful as you move away from Bofut. It is an ideal location to book a bungalow hotel direct on the beach. We recommend Hanalei Gardens and Bangpo Village. Day 5 Angthong National Marine Park To conclude your 5-day itinerary in Kusamui, we suggest booking a full-day tour of Angthong National Marine Park. This park is located off the west coast and can be reached by boat from the port of Nathan. The park is considered one of the beauties of the Thai Gulf with its undeveloped islands covered in lush jungle and home to macaques and tropical birds. Fast Speed Boats offers the best tours because they allow you to visit more of the 42 carts islets. These tours usually provide opportunities for beachside lunches, swimming in turquoise lagoon, and snorkeling. Make sure the itinerary includes visiting specific highlights that are important to you. Komeko Lookout a panoramic view of the whole archipelago. Watala Beach A beach topped by a craggy rock that looks like it was plucked from a lost set. Kopalwai The marine park is only one island with residents where an intriguing sea gypsy community resides. Thalinai Visit this underground saltwater lake and its surrounding sea caves. By evening, you will arrive back at the port town of Nathan on the west coast of Kusamui. This is a convenient location if you plan to visit other islands in the Gulf such as Koh Tao, which is a popular spot for diving. Additionally, the port is ideal for catching boats back to mainland and ports of Suratani. From there, you can take the train back to Bangkok. We hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to like and subscribe. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next one.